please welcome to the stage the creator of the Game Awards, Jeff Keighley. Person, and today we've got a look at what's next in video games for you. We are live here in Los Angeles at YouTube Theater, and it feels so good to be in person with a live fan audience for the first time ever. Welcome, everybody. When I started Summer Game Fest back in 2020 from a spare bedroom, I never imagined it would grow into this. Today, the video game industry has come together to show you what's next. This is a cross-industry showcase, meaning no matter where you play games, I hope you'll discover a new game to put on your wish list. The landscape of video game events has certainly changed over the past few years, but one thing hasn't. There are a lot of great games in development, and our singular goal today is to get you excited about the future. In just a few minutes, we'll see the first extended gameplay of Mortal Kombat 1. You shouldn't be muted. I should be muted. It delivers. Don't worry. Alan Wake 2, the reveal of Fortnite's next season, and yes, can't hear me. Oh, we do have you can hear me? a very special grand finale that you're not going to want to miss. That's all I'll say right now. But let's get right to the games what? and gameplay. The first reveal okay, is something on. you're not expecting, which makes it that much more exciting. Here we go. Prince of Persia? There, I think I fixed it. Yeah. Hell yeah! It's Prince of Persia. The prince yeah, has been kidnapped and taken to a forbidden land. All hope rests with us. We love Fortnite. To rescue him and save the empire. Wait, is this? We weren't this prepared for what isn't the remake, next. is it? <laughs> I don't know. I think it's smart to shy away from just being another Assassin's Creed. Though. They weren't prepared for me. Is this the, the, is this the Sands of Time remake? No, though? this is a no, this is a two D thing. Yeah, this looks so fun. I love this. I mean, there were two D versions of Sands of Time. No, that's not what this is. If they took Sands of Time and only made a two D remake of it, there'd be a lot of angry people. The internet's gonna hate the song choice. I love it. I think it fits. Yeah, this trailer's hype for this me. This actually looks really fun. Yeah, this looks so fun. But Prince of Persia, more like Prince of Bel Air, says someone in YouTube chat. In these times of <laughs> darkness, hope is the only thing I see yeah I see moop and other people saying like this looks like Fortnite I don't think this looks like Fortnite I guess a little bit my destiny and save the kingdom no yeah it does never mind <laughs> I was like it, it kind of does <laughs> when I saw like the crystal stuff okay original new game didn't expect a new Prince of Persia that's very strange, but I'm into it. It's very cool. Surprise. Prince of Persia, The Lost Crown is coming in January 2024. A brand new action adventure platformer in the iconic series with deep combat, some huge boss fights, and of course, incredible platforming puzzles and animation, bringing a modern take on the legendary franchise. You'll be able to see more at Ubisoft Forward streaming on Monday as part of Summer Game Fest. All right, let's move along to another iconic video game franchise that just celebrated 30 years. Mortal Kombat? That's right. It's time for Mortal Kombat 1. Mm -hmm. One. So confusing. Couldn't keep you away. Not if you played one. 11. Mortal Kombat. Four years since MK11, and ever since Ed Boon and the team at NetherRealm have been hard at work on the most ambitious MK yet. That's a sweet that jacket. The series into a new yeah, era timeline. And it's coming this September. Everyone has Jeff been asking, drippy. what does it look like? Who's on the roster? Oops, how, how's the how audio? The cameo fighters work? Well, now it is time for combat. No spoilers, but this video is literally insane. Here <laughs> is an extended... <laughs> literally right, right. insane. Jeff, Jeff, stop hyping it. 
and yes, of course, he's so pumped right now. He is. He is. He's feeling himself. That's the thing. It's like people will give Jeff shit about hyping stuff, but I think it's, he's just legitimately hyped. <laughs> yeah, he's. I mean, I'm hyped, hyped yeah. but like, relax. <laughs> I have had enough of you. Then go before I put you down. Fight. That's that a fighting good. game. It looks good. Like the effects and everything look really great. I like I really like the depth of the background. Yeah. That is cool. Okay. You have proven worthy of joining us. Come. There are other champions I must gather. What do you want, Sento? It's my Mike, you can turn up the stream a little Sento's bit. I think mine, it's a little quiet compared and I to us. Give it up without a fight. Mr. Beast in Mortal Kombat land. <laughs> oh, you can comment. I thought that was really good. <laughs> wow. Jesus. <laughs> There's a lot of people who are so hyped right now. Yeah. How does it look, Mike? Yeah. I mean, it looks good, okay, but it kind of just looks like Mortal Kombat 11. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought too. So, which isn't a bad thing. <laughs> it looks really cool though. Yeah. Man, the uh, the game awards chat is hype for this shit. You have skills, Raiden, but you're inexperienced. Whatever. If it has a cool story like, mode, that'd be kind of sweet. For in heart. The interaction seems really cool. The dude sparring I in mean, the background of the fight. I love that. Why is Kano there? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's so fucking awesome. Oh my oh, god! Oh hell yeah, dude! If your disease becomes known, you will be banished. I only want what's best for you. Or do you secretly covet my throne? The leader of Pulsa? Striker's back. The flashlight. Twenty eleven gaming back, baby. Yeah, no, I love the EDM. I'm glad it's back. What do you call a? Fu uh, it's a stage, oh. right? Fighting game map is a stage. Yeah. Wow. Dude, those X-ray shots are like really, really grossing me out. Oh my Poor Kenji. <laughs> this is so gratuitous. This is. They know what they're. They know. It's like good oh, that's for them. Good. For doing what I'm they're excited. To do. Yeah, that's cool. I won't play it, but it looks <laughs> cool. I might. It's been a while since I played Mortal Kombat. It looks so fun. I love Mortal Kombat's innate campiness. And they yeah. don't care. I mean, that was pretty good, right, guys? <laughs> so the hell, yeah. Now, I'm sure you have many questions about what we just saw. And to tell you more, not I really. Am so honored to welcome <laughs> the Summer Game Fest, one of our industry's greatest creators, a man who has been loyal to the same franchise and fan base for more than three decades. Please join me in welcoming to Summer Game Fest the creator of Mortal Kombat, Ed Boon! Let's make it quick, Ed. Yeah, seriously. Yeah, I just realized now it's like with Mortal Kombat 1 and Fortnite Wilds. So imagine that's all they showed off today. Congratulations! <laughs> <laughs> they love you. All right, well, Ed, uh, first of all, thank you for that incredible uh, world premiere. We got to see all the gameplay of MK1. And everyone just wants to know more about this because, first of all, this is in a, it's, it's MK1, right? It went from 11 to 1. So tell us about this. Is it a new timeline? 
Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know how many people have seen the the ending of Mortal Kombat 11. Liu Kang basically was kind of graduated into like you know a fire god, right? And he's he created a brand new universe. <laughs> and this universe, this is cool. why we're calling it Mortal Kombat One, is because this is the beginning of a new timeline. Wow. A number of these characters you've seen before, but they're told in a completely different story. Oh, so, they're getting me now. Sub Zero yeah, and a good Scorpion are brothers now. Yeah. And there's there's all these things that were rivalries before are now. This guy reminds me of Jordan Schlansky so mixing from the, the whole Conan, thing up. Uh, so we're just kind of things, rebooting and the that's sketches. what the one is for. Well, it looks incredible. Everything we the saw there was you know, know. in-game right, gameplay. <laughs> the cinematics look incredible. Uh, I know the team has been working for four years on this, but the thing we got to talk about are these cameos because we saw some pretty amazing stuff there. Now, so tell us, how does that work? You obviously, you have your sort of your main, you know, character that you'll pick. And then I know you also have a separate kind of cameo menu. So you pick sort of a pair when yeah. you start the oh. game. Yeah, normally in, in a fighting game, you'll, you'll see a, a roster, basically, you know, where you select your character. After you do that, there's a second roster of characters, which are a whole new, uh, completely different so. fighters that are the cameo fighters. And these fighters actually, they will join the fight but they, a lot but of they, blank squares there. Yeah, so it's kind of like imagine K. yourself with sub Those are circles, yeah, like Jeff. Jack's moves, and you can call him out. Cameo you can do it elements multiple of power. times as you saw in the game. Loop, do they actually spell <laughs> characters so with a K in the game? You can basically combine these two yeah. characters. All the characters. Everything that could be a C is a K, K essentially. Fighters, and oh, that's okay. where you see. That's where the player's kind of imagination comes in, and they can actually customize it for what they like seeing. You know, the the best team ups. Well, so how does that work? So you're in gameplay, you have your main, you have your cameo. How do you, do you summon them? Is it time-based? Like, how often do they come in? To, like, it's not a tag team thing, right? Where yeah, still, yeah, exactly. And and you're you're basically summoning them. It's just one button push is basically summoning, but they have a variety. So you can go, you know, push that button with towards, and it'll do a, a different move. Push it with down, it'll do a different move. Okay. And so the combination... Oh, I see. So you can bring them in a combo almost. Exactly, okay. exactly. And and so, and you see, there's like a meter up on the top. The animations top, are which really is good. That, that'll... Really Really cool. limited so you can't obviously fire them in the facial animation but, um, from things too. you call you can yeah. call them pretty much whenever you want and they have you know like in the middle of a combo they'll have Jeff a lot really of, looks uh, like he's talking on stage. you know basically a whole arsenal of their moves so Sony you saw come out there sometimes you'll see them appear twice in there <laughs> so time so they come out and then obviously as you go through you revealed some of them there, but are, is, it, is it a different set of characters that'll be in the cameos? Are there some repeats from the main roster? How will that work? Yeah, yeah. Some of the characters are going to be available as cameos as well as the main roster fighters. You can play Sub Zero with Sub Zero. Explain right? like, pushing buttons, Jeff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Same thing with That's, Scorpion. But a, this a is a weird our, thing to talk about for a while. Kind of like you mean you can press square and a so thing happens on screen? You can bring in costumes. another fighter so to there's, there's do an assist now. move? That's like, never been. Been done before. You guys something to every fighter. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, yeah. so, so th there's a lot of like kind of really digging into the old Mortal Kombat games as far as getting, you know, um, we really love the novelty. Of this really is a bad start. Feel, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna say it. This is a bad a start to, to the start show. The fest. Yeah, this is a boring start. Well, speaking of, start with uh, like five uh, trailers in a row. Confirmed, I, mean, I think, I mean, or at least knowing that for a lot of people, it's probably pretty cool though. But go, no. do five <laughs> trailers in a row. <laughs> <laughs> I, then, yeah. then, then a big launch like Mortal Kombat. The problem is they bring they brought Ed Boon out and he has nothing to say. He's talking about nothing. He's talking about something that you could have just watched a trailer and figured out. Want it to be yeah. They look like they want to keep it really and that, and under that wraps, really which is out. fine. But then so don't have someone come I, I on. I can't tell you how many times over the last thirty years we've tried to get him. Um, you know, we were this close, yeah. like four or five times, and uh, so finally we got him, and he's doing the voices too. Wow. So you're going to hear John Claude, wow. his voice doing Johnny Cage lines and stuff like that. We're really excited about it. Wow. Well, I know the team I mean, that's cool. So in Chicago to build yeah. this through COVID. But it could be done in a trailer. Dude, skip. Let's go to NAC. Uh, knack four, Secret baby. Yeah, oh, yeah. The there wasn't a knack three, right? I'm not so, crazy. Uh, but we're oh. we're skipping three. We could not yeah. be more excited in terms of uh, getting players' hands on it. Um, and you know, throughout Ed the Boone summer, is we're usually be more a lot more content, a lot more entertaining on stage, a lot more so cameo characters. Weird. You know, so there's yeah. a lot of reveals that are coming up. That's why I'm just like Ed, he has nothing so to say because the there's nothing to say. MK1, as you said, this weekend people will be playing it, press and media, so we'll be seeing lots more coverage. Lots more characters to reveal on the main roster and cameos. Uh, Ed Boone, thank you so much. First look at Mortal Kombat. Awesome. Thanks. Really? 
Amazing. So excited about that one. All right. Next up, it's Hell been yeah, a dude. fun couple weeks for action RPG fans with the release of Diablo 4, which is truly fantastic. Another big and anticipated ARPG oh. is Path of Exile oh, 2 from never Grand mind. Oh. Games, who have faithfully been updating and patching the original PoE since its release in 2013. Wow. We haven't seen anything on the sequel in over two years. Yeah. But that changes right mm -hmm. now. Here is your first look at a raw gameplay capture from Path I knew of they Exile were just 2, fucking waiting for Diablo 4 to come out. Whoa, Diablo 4 just launched. Who gives a shit, dude? Wait, like, a few months. <laughs> because this is probably going to blow out of, blow Diablo 4 out of the water? No. Where probably. Hey, you! What's nerd. going on? <laughs> Okay, this is it, great. It Show looks, me the UI. <laughs> it looks a lot like Diablo 4. It does. <laughs> it really does. It, it kind of just looks like PoE 1, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> After they did a graphics update. Yeah. Like... Isn't this one of those, like, uh, where once 2 comes out, or, like, they, or they're supposed to exist simultaneously or something it's one of those that was nothing uh, if that was it i'm just like okay never mind they showed <laughs> one character we haven't seen anything from uh for two years uh, a trailer for an announcement july 28th. Uh, that's <laughs> why not just do the whole thing july 28th Last week, that's see, they are waiting to do because it, after people got bored of Diablo, that's yeah. but mid July is when season well, one comes out, so <laughs> to share with you yeah. right now. Oh, whatever. Yeah, show me the talent tree exactly. Move, let me see how much yeah. AIDS POE2 <laughs> is going to be so I can decide not to play it. I don't this looks cool though. Oh. oh. Wait, is this Street Fighter? <laughs> yeah. Advanced artificial intelligence. That, that's for you. Oh. That's robot Ryu, I guess. Yeah, I was gonna say I didn't r what? remember him being a cyborg, but he's not. I'd... Wait, whoa, wait. What? What is, is this? this Exo Primal or whatever it's called? Wait, what is happening? Let's. Okay, robot Gil. Robot. It's just Street Fighter Six. Oh, it's crossing oh, with Exo Primal. Yeah, uh, okay. <laughs> Capcom collab one. All right. Did we know Exo Primal was coming July? Are they just sending this thing out to die? I'm guessing Ryu from Street Fighter facing off uh. against a dinosaur probably wasn't on your bingo card for today's show. That Street Fighter cross Exo no, Primal wasn't. collab will launch in the fall. Mm, it will never be on my bingo card. <laughs> But guess what, guys? That may actually not be the craziest collaboration on the show today. I hope not. Check this out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I seriously not hope exciting. not, Joe. Power and imagination. That sounds like Nick Cage. It does, because it is. Because oh. it's, it's Nick Cage dead by daylight. Yes. Oh. We already know this. We already know this. And also, like, why isn't he a killer? Why is he a survivor? Guys, this was isn't this a, news. Was it just a leak we got before? To hear his no, it was announced. It was, it was announced. Cage is coming to Dead by Daylight in July. I mean, I don't know how these things happen, but I figured that the is easiest funny. way to find out yeah. is probably to go right to the source. This man's bold creative choices Ooh. have earned him an uh, Academy Award. And a few memes on the he internet better show up. I don't want him on a video. decades of incredible <laughs> films. Please join me in welcoming to Summer Game Fest, Nicholas K. <laughs> what the hell? That's worth wow. it for that. That's so funny. <laughs> it's just stupid. I just love it. This is so stupid. <laughs> person I can guarantee has like never you. played a video game. Nick, I gotta say welcome <laughs> to the video game world. Oh wow, yeah. yeah. Thank you. I'm so happy to be invited to your very, very cool club, everybody. <laughs> Finally, I can't. I, mean, I, gotta I say, can't. This is such a, a crazy, unexpected collaboration. I gotta understand how did this come about? I mean, some people be like, "Oh, maybe he'll show up in Fortnite. Maybe he'll be it's in a Hideo called Kojima money." Game, but Dead by Daylight. I mean, yeah. How does this well, it's a, it's a museum of horror, right? Yes. And <laughs> when I make movies, it's kind of a cosmic one of my favorite gumbo. genres is horror. <laughs> 
And in this, and, and in that genre, there's a character, a murderous ghost named Sadako, who I think is amazing. And she made an appearance in this game, so that was good enough for me. Okay. That's what, yeah, I mean, that's what's fun is you're playing oh, one okay. of the survivors <laughs> in this game. And it's cool that, you know, it's, it really is this museum of horror. Michael Myers, you said all these different yeah. characters all coming together. Um, and you, do you, pl you play yourself, or who do you play? So I play this uh, heightened exaggerated version of a film actor named Nick Cage. <laughs> so you play yourself. <laughs> he's, uh, he's going to a location Slowly becoming Nick Cage's he's making a movie uh, and most common role. he wakes up in the yeah. fog. Yep. And in the fog, he's surrounded by crows and serial killers, and it's rather amazing. Crows and serial killers. And there's something about it that I think That's as accurate. a survivor... Yeah. It's like a bonding experience. This is the first it's time for like me that he's see, kind of you looked a little three bit other older. Teammates who are survivors with you, and you're, it's I was going to say he actually looks a bit younger here than he did last time I, like I saw that. him in something. And so that was a, a large reason for wanting to do it as well. That that feeling of bonding with your friends. And you're fully in for this. I know we heard your voice in there, so you oh, yeah. recorded lines for it and everything. See. Well, I want you to no, know I let them take my likeness, but not my voice. Have, when you're choosing your skins, I even say, always remember to dress to match your talent. I want you to know that you're with me, that we're one, that we're fused. And so it was important to me that everything I, I do, don't want to be I fused. Say, from the he doesn't to understand. The He's down like, to the most minimal, exasperated expression just learned what video games of, are. Uh, <laughs> a sigh, whatever it is, it's my voice, so that we are fused. All right. No. I believe <laughs> when you play a video okay, game, I you are it. fused. Uh, I, I I mean, this is so fun. This game, as you said, is such an awesome kind of, you know, He's like Keanu Reeves so where he can characters. say anything. For you, I mean, yeah, how did 100%. you find out about Dead by Daylight? Do you know much about the video game Somebody world? very important in my family yeah. is a Dead by Daylight enthusiast. Okay. And, and that really put the uh, hook in. <laughs> Pun intended. Uh, <laughs> oh, God, Al Pacino uh, see, at the Dead game. Dead by Daylight yeah. to me was an opportunity yeah. to branch out. To I've never been invited that into this space. This is much better. That I'm was so weird. Adventures. So this to me was like, Wait, to forget I that can make a whole new standing audience, there while Christopher Judge made the longest speech of all time. Dead by daylight adventure. They, they bring out a chair say, halfway through for nothing Kate, but a for, uh, second to say Pacino. yes. And speaking about split seconds, what <clears throat> this me, is what why I noticed, <clears throat> excuse me, sinuses, uh, allergies. But I noticed, <laughs> thank you, thank you, Nick. <laughs> this is why the show is this. two hours. Yeah, 100. percent There's nothing, it is just Mortal Kombat and Fortnite Wild, seconds. and then the rest <laughs> is just like random ads. Out in this space because every move, the rest every is just front, every song Nick Cage make, talking about, I found out what video games are in 2023. I believe it's where you're fused. We love having you in the video game. Well, we want to see Nick Cage in more games. Thank you. Thanks, guys. I would love to see him in a Kojima game. That would be <laughs> yeah, amazing. absolutely. Thank you so much. You. That would be a perfect Friday. fit Nicholas of like Cage. yeah, the Great overacting you, and the ridiculousness. <laughs> 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 He's like, get me the fuck out of here. My agent said Jeff wouldn't you. touch me. Play, the, <laughs> the chapter officially comes out on July 25th on PC and console, but PC players can try it earlier by downloading the player test build on July 5th. Like and here's an exclusive first look at Nicholas Cage than that. Dead by Daylight. Way more than that. <laughs> oh, God, it looks so bad. It looks really bad. After yeah. just seeing the real person, it really... It's yeah. striking how bad this looks. It, it's like his head's too big. <laughs> also, he's moving like at this weird, which I guess, again, it's just the game, but it's weird just seeing real people and then they're like moving yeah. all janky. Uh, yeah. That sure. looked really bad. Sure. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Anything goes here at Summer Game Fest. <laughs> All right, thank you very yeah, much, Jeff. Nick. Now, lately we've been seeing an incredible He's number of video so game happy. adaptations. I, I, Back in part of I mean, yeah. The Witcher on Netflix, inspired by the Witcher book series, showed the potential oh, the trailer of for well-done adaptations. Three. And later uh, this month, Season yeah. 3, Volume 1 arrives, and now it's time yeah. for the world premiere of the trailer, introduced by Henry Cavill I'm and the cast. Not... I'm whelmed. Hello, Witcher fans. We are all gathered here today. Henry, to having trying his best to like put be on sure a brave to face. The Witcher yeah. season three, volume one debut. De 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 <laughs> <laughs> volume one debuts on June 29th. Is that worth keeping in? Get ready to watch the yeah, it was funny. premiere it's of our brand new trailer, <laughs> season three of The Witcher. Thanks for tuning and in. And why are they splitting season three into two volumes? <sighs> trying to really milk the last of like the watchable Witcher. I mean, that's a lie though. It's all bad. So, like, I'm gonna watch Liam's Witcher too, just because I want to see what it's like. Oh 
the music. But it'll certainly help in keeping you alive. I won't abandon Siri. I mean, you can tell they got way more fucking money to make yep. this season. Yep. <laughs> it all just looks so much better. Oh, they're doing the slow mo uh, right. fatalities. That's fun. Right. Well, that's deeply worrying. Everything that's happening, it's all connected. I mean, she's at the center of it. If war is coming, there is no hiding her from it. <laughs> That's the, sure about this? the H and M model. Uh, Are you? Right yeah. <clears throat> <laughs> what if it ends the trailer saying "One Last Ride" with Henry? If it ends with Henry, uh, Geralt fucking dying and then Geralt gets resurrected. <laughs> yeah. And Liam just pops out. History has a way of repeating itself. The dangers we've seen foretell an even more menacing future. Up to the yeah. first time. Yeah, exactly. We I need to have a uh, regenerate. Fear. <laughs> the witches. Is that so? Like the worst part is, is that the writing was so bad that Henry left this season, and like it was bad last season. So like, like people were like, this is the last season, but like this will, this is also gonna be shit. Monsters. Yeah, <laughs> I'm like not, I'm just like not very pumped. No, so it's like it it'll be, be as bad. It's like a boatload of fangs. All up in your business. Like the fact that this is the season that made uh, him. show only on Netflix seven dollars a month. <laughs> Did you need to put that? <laughs> you know what like Netflix the Witcher, is? The Netflix series, the game. <laughs> Moop, you take that out of existence, please. Yeah, for real. <laughs> like uh, they oh, were coming shit. up with the idea of making that Uncharted game. That would have been cool. up in the morning <laughs> right guys <laughs> the witch hunt yeah it's oh, the uh like witcher witch hunt let's put these right next it's the witch obviously shooter game but um i forget what it's called it's shown last year i don't remember this at all flintlock i don't know this is a Witch, Witch fire. fire, yeah, it had a really stupid name. Oh, PSVR 2. Oh, God. Zero one. Operation control clears you for engagement. Five. This is cr that crossfire VR. This no one wants cool. this. Like an actual VR when they're showing it. He looks so bored when he took off the headset. <laughs> Good. You don't want that. He's like, sorry, I'm not bored, I'm just sick. That was such an expensive commercial. Yeah. Well, they don't have a lot going on in VR2. They need to spend a little bit here. They should probably spend a little bit to develop something worthwhile in Only terms of a game. Now. Remnant no 2. Yay. Is it? Or is it like a DLC? No, it's 2. Oh, really? This was, this was announced yesterday. Oh, okay. They jumped the gun. They had, uh... You took, you took Jeff's joy away. 
Oh, uh, what he event yesterday? yesterday? Yeah. No yeah. He announced the game on his sure? Twitter yeah. account. Yeah. <laughs> um. Fuck, what was yesterday? There's some... There's some event that had like 80 games that I never yeah. watched because it's never worthwhile watching. And then one of them is okay. One of them is this, which I'm... I don't care. Yeah, cool. <laughs> is this Remnant from the Ashes, that game? Yeah. yeah. This is the second one. That's I'll be cool. interested if, if they fix their this. end game. Because their end game sucked ass. And I was happy that I played it for free. <laughs> is it... Does it have any roguelite elements, or is it just like a no. Souls FPS? It's a Souls FPS. That's it. And their end game was just make the game harder, which then became yeah. well, bosses just one shot you, which is not fun. I don't, I don't it's not fun. <laughs> <laughs> so. Also, the trees did it, so right, kill the trees. We have more Summer Game Fest to come, including a first look at the gameplay of Alan Wake 2. Ooh, the world cool. premiere of the new season of Fortnite, Call of Duty Season 4, and maybe a few more surprises. Hopefully. Hmm. Hopefully, and because the rest of the... That, that sucks. If TikTok, that's it, that sucks. TikTok, to react to the news, <laughs> we want to welcome everyone co-streaming the show live on TikTok, Hi. Twitch, YouTube, and other platforms. For those oh, yeah. of you on Twitch, we also have a we, we didn't special do the official Warframe Twitch thing, drop, did we? a free Steinax no. Warframe for watching so more than rip. 30 minutes of the show. Now, Jeff is taking us down as we squeak. Yeah. Another legendary gaming hero squeak, squeak. is set to return later this year in a brand new game Sonic. built from the ground up in a style that I think I is going to get this Wolverine. Fan They're showing Wolverine. And yeah. fans of video games Imagine. very excited. Here's another Summer Game Fest global game announcement. New thrills World with a classic premiere. feel. <gasps> Dude, <laughs> I, get fucking, I get something for that. Did they remake the original game in 2.5D or whatever? Dude, I'm very into this. For mobile? Oh, game. It's like a mania, but it's got the modern graphic. All right. I mean, it's not like, but you know what I mean? It's a 3D. Mm -hmm. This is cool. Oh, this looks cool. What if it's only for iOS? That's fine. I have an iPhone. Amy looks weird, but okay. <laughs> look at her, look how weird she looks. Yeah. She does look kind of weird. This is derpy. They're like, they were moving oh. so slow there, but oh, they're like, moving now. so quickly. Oh, Sonic Squids. Sonic Splatoon. It's perfect. Am I crazier to see look slow? Yeah, that's a problem with Sonic sometimes. They don't do it this right. Sonic CD. <laughs> Why does Amy look like that? She looks so weird. She looks so bad. <laughs> Adds for everything. That's I cool. love it. Something about it just said something about an Amy Rose skin. Please give me a different Amy Rose skin. Yeah, cool. That's the retro right. Amy look. Yeah, it, she that, still looks derpy. Classic Sonic that's yeah. bound to appeal to new and legacy fans alike. No, I'm not Sonic sure. is April, Sonic's in, in retro, in, but he doesn't see, look derpy. An exciting new character yeah, to true. space fantasy RPGs. However, we don't just have a new peak for current players, but also for those awaiting the game's release on PlayStation. Take a look. It's not out on PlayStation? No. I wish this universe had oh, some more things to God. do. Already. <laughs> Silverwolf has the worst, the worst voice. voice. Holy <laughs> crap. Could have picked anybody else, I'm sure. Yeah. Here's our next stop. I can't wait. By the way, can we talk about <laughs> much speaking of Sonic, it sounds like such Sonic Advance or Sonic Adventure music. It's the music really in this game is fucking bangers. <laughs> Only bangers. Got a little boob physics there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You got it. Hopefully em. more than a little. It's really the main draw here. Great. <laughs> That's true. Hey, it's Vi. 
Are they gonna oh, announce yeah. Luca here? This is five. Like fuck off. Don't, don't tell me this is five. His, his name is Luca, but yeah, you ripped off five. But it's okay. it's fine. My rail till I start right. <laughs> oh no! Well, that really is five. Like yeah. straight up. Straight up. Yeah. <laughs> Or gay up. Never mind. God, I'm so happy I didn't get Silver Wolf because her voice is awful. I miscount Killian. <laughs> Code name PS5. Time for a buzz. Uh oh, this game got me banned from PS5. Let's say 04 2023. It's Q4. Four. Later this oh. Year on PlayStation. All right. Inspired by the story of Pinocchio. Will it come out? Lies Probably of not. Game. Lies of P. Yeah. It's yeah. going to be coming to Game Pass, PlayStation, and PC this year. Well, if you're wondering exactly the release when, date just got leaked like a couple hours before the show. With this brand new trailer. Jeff, you got fucked. No, <laughs> Jeff got uh, cucked on all these announcements. <laughs> Jeff got cucked by. Every big publisher having their own event. <laughs> yeah. <for> yeah. <laughs> Is this a Japanese developed game? It's Liza P? Be, right? I think like so. The name Liza P just. Yep. Pinocchio's out, dude. It's way. It's, no one wants to play a Pinocchio game. Let's call him P. I'm not crazy. South Korea. Pinocchio. In case you were wondering if this was Asian inspired in some way. P Pinocchio <laughs> is usually Italian, not French, right? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Why is this in France? Japan. Why, they, why is this in France? <laughs> Close enough. <laughs> it's all, it's all yeah. Korea's like, I don't know, it's all the fucking same white people. <laughs> <laughs> They're not wrong. Europe is one blend. Yeah. Well, that was my favorite part of Pinocchio, the umbrella attack. Yeah. <laughs> I like the great white shark submarine, actually. That's, yeah. Listen, pal. Nice landing, but uh, oh. let's not make it a habit. Oh that no, was horrible. Jiminy Cricket horrible. is like a, is like the forsaken I... dude. Horrible. No, you lost me. Demo's oh, there's a demo. They had to introduce fucking Jiminy Cricket, being like, "Hey, dude." That's right. A demo yeah. Lies of P is now available across PlayStation, Xbox, and PC. I mean, Check it out. The defining the thing of Pinocchio is the growing nose. Now but it's time I, did they for the include any of that? Of I didn't see it. That would have been a cool attack mechanic. With a story yeah. like, you have to like, you have to like, lie to like I have a big penis, and then you like nose shoots <laughs> out, and you like smack them in the face. Lucky we get to reveal for the first time here at Summer Game Fest, and I think you'll be. Pretty hyped once you see the gameplay all built just the way it engine five. No, it's Here this is go. the first course. This is the appetizer. No way, dude. This is the best. This is the best announcements of the show, I think. <laughs> Except when we get armored core later, that'll be the big excitement. <gasps> wow, too. I was gonna say this looks like an MMO of sorts. It looked like uh, the scorpions from WoW. Oh, Dragon Ball. Oh no, but something like that. Uh, Definitely has Toriyama vibes. Many people have already recognized yep, this. Yep, Toriyama, yep. Do you think it's an original game? Yeah. Or original story? It is, looks like it. All right, I'm down for an original Toriyama game. This is kind of cool. Oh, this, this is, is six JRPG as hell. Like this is like all the classic drum. stuff from like original Dragon Ball, like all like the riding dinosaurs and the little capsule cards yeah. and stuff, but less of like the crazy power creep. I wonder if it's from the same studio that did Kakarot because it looks oh. similar. Yeah, in terms of like the big open, empty spaces. 
Alright. Oh, they could have named it anything. That is a terrible name! Could have named it anything. Is it CyberConnect 2? Sandland. Sandland. Maybe that's not the name of the game. Yep, no, it, it is. is. It is. Wait, who's the who's the developer? Well, it's been a name code, but I don't know who the actual developer is. Uh. Sandland, get ready to become an unlikely hero in an adventure where you don't need to be human to save humanity. Uh, that's coming from Bandai Namco. Oh yeah, it's so, a, it is a manga from soon. 2000. Independent it only had are such an important one volume. Part of the industry. Wow. And one thing that's very important to us at Summer really Games is supporting those creators. Weird thing to bring back. <laughs> After the live show, <laughs> yeah, stay that's... tuned for Day of the yeah. Devs really from unpopular. I Made Bit and Double Fine with some incredible indie game reveals. They're now, like, the biggest independent who publishers will sell us rights very Later cheaply? this month, as part of Summer mm -hmm. Game Was Fest, a complete they'll be story, revealing though? a number of ambitious yeah. new projects. Apparently. Let's see how many you can figure out in this little tease. Well, there was land, and it had sand, and that's... Wow, it's a, really just Mad Max. Right. The world is left without water, and everyone has to fight for it. Post-apocalypse. Wait, wait, wait. Is this another... Is Annapurna? Doing a show, I think? Yeah. Oh. Dude, I'm here for the Annapurna show. Well, I'll actually be back in country, too. Yeah, there might be, like, one good game there. Straight DLC. I'm not changing my statement. <laughs> <laughs> One of our biggest announcements yet, a person and a cat. Mm. 12 minutes meets Stray. Oh, <laughs> don't name their worst game. I right. don't Next, have to name their worst games. The Just look at their catalog. Liberty, Wilds too. PC and oh, console boy. MMORPG from NCSoft and Amazon oh, Games with an always changing environment. Yeah, yeah. NCSoft. The beta came out for this. It's a tab target MMO land, where you can't even move Here's a look during combat. Uh, yeah, I hate that. Shit. You have to be your Enter character can't land. move in order to attack. <laughs> Scattered across the world. This thing's gonna flop real this fucking looks hard. Bad. You know what's nice though? At least they can say they weren't the worst game this year. Like no matter what you do this year, you won't be able to be the worst game. Unless you're <laughs> it's true. It might be the biggest financial them. failure though. Dude, Gollum spent a lot of money. MMO has spent a lot of money. <laughs> This this game's been this was originally an isometric MMO. <laughs> like this game's been in development for like 15 years. This is uh, a yeah. no way. It was supposed really? to be Lineage yeah. Three, basically. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. It was supposed to be Lineage Three, and then it turned into this. Like, NCSoft oh, like has been working on this for fucking like a decade. <laughs> this. Oh, it had frame drops in the cinematic. in the cinematic. Yeah. <laughs> That's not good. No. Notice they aren't moving. Yeah. <laughs> this looks real bad. Yeah, I. Yeah, move. I, I legitimately think that Amazon agreed to publish this game before they saw. Like, I don't think they saw enough of the game or had the right people look at it because you, you would immediately in. know. They seem to be putting a lot of uh, a lot of emphasis on turning into wolves and birds, which I'm like super yeah. into. Um, yeah, that's a thing in this but game. But that's it. That's it. Huh. Players Sign up for the it. tech we, we test. Can't, we can't get enough people to play the tech test. No one wants to play it. <laughs> Looks yeah. great. People I also want to say hello great. to everybody watching on Steam oh, right Jeff. now. I'm sorry we don't have any free Steam decks for you right on now. Steam? On Steam? You can watch this You didn't have Steam free Steam decks, decks before, does Jeff. Return, giving fans a chance to try out hundreds of new in-development games. One of them is the free-to-play medieval fantasy sword fighting game Warhaven from Nexon. No, that was their move. Which lets you transform we, yeah, into supernatural we, we immortals. Saw that for sure. Here's a new look. Yeah, a lot of frame drops there. Not good. I'm not usually one to call it out, but the game already looks so bad that I'm like, ah, fuck it. <laughs> a lot of, a lot of Korean games in the show. Yeah. They have the cash. <laughs> they need an outlet for Jeff. 
Yeah, I mean, oh, that's that's true because none of them are going to be at the big publisher show. That's so. yeah, that's yeah. kind of what piece of game show. We don't watch that. So we get this one. This actually looks kind of cool. <laughs> it just looks like floaty though. Yeah. Like again, some of this stuff's cool, but it's just like, what actually is it? Like, well, if I sit down and play the game, what am I actually fucking doing? You know? And the problem, any live service Korean game is just pay to win, which yeah. that's, I mean, that's what sucks. They could be the greatest game in the world, but it's pay to win. I saw someone say, is this Bloodborne? <laughs> it does look like it, you know? Yeah. It's like a Warriors game, it does it's like a Warriors game. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Why would I play this over like playing Chivalry 2? I like how yeah, the song was It's a War Worth Fighting. There's just fighting over nothing. Hey, this is not <laughs> <laughs> I know. It doesn't look like it's worth anything. Why can't I love this game. <laughs> what the? This game's amazing. What is good game party is this animals? Game? Yeah, party animals. This is great. That woman in angelic armor, mommy, I think it looks sad. That was my favorite part. Pilgrims, summer is coming, and with it, a lot of dying cool light. stuff will make its way to Dying Light to stay human. Get ready for darker, DLC. more dangerous nights, and we know how much you love Dying Light too. Complete with Mike, improved so. parkour, rolling out with the next update in June. Then, yeah. right after that, we'll kick off an even yeah. season like you have never mm -hmm. seen before. Trust me, for one I of them, you will want to get it since I did my review. Wired. Trust Very me. Soon, Aren't they working the on a big summers today. medieval fantasy? <laughs> What? Weird. Was that me or was that the video? I'm lagging too. Yeah, I had like a crap. Yeah, I, I did it yet. too. Okay. <laughs> what? Get the wumpus. <laughs> oh wow. Crash Team Rumble looks so fucking bad. Mm hmm. Oh my god, my Samsung gaming hub. Oh, thank god. I KO! Finished, so that's, I mean, that's a fun game. KO, yeah. <laughs> I, the game that I played for 30 seconds. Why are we clapping for Samsung? Yeah. <laughs> We're clapping for they a commercial. For, they paid for at least 10, 10 claps. Yeah. Welcome back to Summer Game Fest. Isn't that great? By the way, Crash Team Rumble is going to feature no. playable Ripper Roo and Engine. Thank Neil God. Cortex's right hand guy in season <laughs> wow. one. Now, I would have fucking boycotted it if it would have been an incomplete. Topic without. and descend into madness. Oh. Joining me is a guy who was last on stage at the Game Awards 2021 to announce Alan oh. Wake 2. Okay. He's come all the Sam way Lake. from Finland. Please welcome from Remedy, Sam Lake. Nice suit. Why is Max Payne on stage Looking right now? Looking dapper as always. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Well, we are so excited because when you announced uh, Alan Wake at the game, or Alan Wake 2 at the Game Awards, you said 2023. We are in 2023. It's coming this October, and we are so excited about this, Sam. I know it's been a long time coming for fans and for you, 13 years since the first Alan Wake. So tell us a bit about what can we expect in the sequel. It's been quite a journey, yes. Yeah. Um, Alan Wake 2 is Remedy's first survival horror game. We have two playable characters. It's a 50, 50, 50 split between them. They cool. are on their. I know we saw not exactly 50 50. I'm calling bullshit. We saw the FBI <laughs> uh, woman as a playable character yeah. a couple and weeks ago. The player ago. gets to switch between them at given points in the, in the story as they choose. 
Yeah, we saw, obviously, uh, at the PlayStation event, you revealed uh, Saga, the, the second character. Yeah. Uh, tell us a bit about her. Fine. She's in Bright Falls, and she's sort of Saga? living a, a narrative that Alan has written. Saga? Is that right? Well, uh, that's a good question to ask okay, going okay. into this. <laughs> so, yes, we, we have Alan Wake, our yeah. title character, of course, trying to escape from the nightmare dimension yes. of the dark place. Yes. And then we have <laughs> okay. Saga, our yes. new hero, FBI agent, uh, coming to the Pacific Northwest small town of Bright Falls together with her partner, yes. Alex Casey. Okay. Uh, so oh, okay. And, and they're somehow linked in some <laughs> This way, guy is right? wild. Uh, they are coming to investigate yes. a series of ritualistic murders. Okay. And, and very quickly, the investigation turns into a nightmare when they discover pages of a horror story. Uh, maybe written by a certain <laughs> missing writer. By the uh, initials AEW. <laughs> and, and this horror story right, starts Show the gameplay. I want to see the gameplay. Uh, initials AEW. So yes, Jeff, we all know that Alan Wake is a writer. Thank you. Playable yeah. in the game. That was the, he said it subtly in the new saga. This is sort of the new <laughs> had to spell it out. There is that sort of link. <laughs> Tell us a bit about, you said split 50-50. Do they have separate missions? Because I think you can you can play them in sort of different sequences or Just orders. Just show me Eight-Legged right? Freaks yeah, we, the game we and let's go. Yeah, we go into the experience <laughs> playing as, as Saga. Okay. And, and <laughs> they can't because they don't uh, have enough sequel, content for the show. But it's also a standalone <laughs> That's experience. That's we are fair. not <laughs> expecting everybody to do homework okay. if, if they have not played the original game. Yeah. It doesn't uh, have this to be can two be enjoyed, hours, Jeff. Uh, as is. Saga doesn't, doesn't know anything about the lore, making, about the hours. supernatural. That's actually they don't have enough time. World, they don't have enough time for she ads. She will be going in yeah. very quickly. She has to learn to survive. And with that, <laughs> all the players... Uh, but that is a good idea. You, you insert a character who her. isn't familiar and, and, with what's going uh, on. Then we open up the experience. For people who didn't play the first game. You can hope to play... Alan Wake in the dark place okay. uh, as he's trying to find his way it's out. It's an ocean, it's and a lake. And you can keep on playing as Saga in the Pacific Northwest as the investigation goes on. And you are free to switch between Shoot. them. Ah. There are a lot of connection points yes. uh, in many surprising ways, but there is no right way to play through this. You can choose. You, you can go on as, as Alan all the way close to the end, or as really? Saga, or you can keep hopping hmm. between these okay, two well, uh, just sides of it. Well, you're just always so us. good at kind of telling challenging, interesting narratives in unique ways. I mean, Remedy's just a great touch of everyone. you especially, so we can't wait to see how these stories <laughs> intertwine, I'm sure, throughout the experience. <laughs> Today, though, I know you brought with you some, some gameplay of Saga's adventure. We're just going to see a, a raw oh. segment of the game, right? Yeah. yeah, raw gameplay for the first time ever. This is early raw. on from the is experience. The <laughs> They're hyped, uh, Sam. They're ready for it. gameplay, it's fucking raw. So tell Ian us, what, what are we going to see? What, what uh, supernatural forces of darkness have uh, brought we don't need the to murder just victim. Just show it. You don't have to tell uh, us what case, we're going to see. Back to life as a He's monster. And, and uh, Saga is outside Pride Falls at Cauldron Lake trying <laughs> to find him and stop him. All right. Lake. Okay, with that, let's take a look at raw, unedited raw gameplay Alan from Alan Wake 2. Yeah. Thanks, Sam. Thank you. <laughs> what? <laughs> I like the rain. I bet you would. I mean, it's the Pacific do. Northwest, so. Yep. It do be raining. I thought you, if it, first I thought you said the Pacific Northwest. <laughs> yeah, it's Pacific Northwest. Period. Sounds like somebody's home. <laughs> Tying in a bat in the garage. Tiny Rick. Cut to a streamer playing this game and they're just sprinting through this fucking level. <laughs> Instead of just looking around. 100%. Like this gameplay. Sprinting and like frantically uh, just looting everything they see. Wow, the visuals are pretty fucking good though. <clears throat> it's very detailed. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Cat in the background. 
Oh my god. Why? Wow, I really love the visuals. Oh. This dude can take a lot of fucking bullets. It says he's not a real person. No. A monster. Like Nightingale. Yeah, baby. Got cryptids. I love how it showed damage on his clothes and stuff. Where he was. That's cool. God. This looks really cool. My question now is because it's so detailed and looks like more of like a a larger game with combat and detail. I'm wondering how short it's going to be. Mm. I think it's pretty linear, so I don't think. Uh... And they've been working on this for a while. Now. Yeah, it's true. Legible. I knew it would be here. Like I saw it in a dream. Cool. Why the fuck would you pick that up? I'm glad you're on this case with me, Anderson. Killer left a message. It's for us. We were all trapped in a horror story. The horror story wanted us dead. There's something I'm forgetting. Something important. Something's not right. Good time for a Halloween. Yeah. A long time coming, but Alan Wake 2 looks incredible. Thank you to Sam and Remedy for that first look at gameplay. Now let's get a first look at the co-op campaign of Warhammer Space Marine 2 from Saber and Focus. Wow, that was some whiplash there and turns <laughs> we're going from one to the other. We're facing a Tetanid splinter fleet. Jeff and, and whiplash no. Avarax and Kadaku. I'll be straight with you, Titus. I have my reservations about your reinstatement. There could be questions. Will that be a problem? No, Captain. Move. <laughs> I remember Move being excited about this one. My pledge is eternal service. Xenos inbound! Wow. this abomination! Come forth and be slaughtered! Don't like 40k. For the king? Oh, dude, I'd fuck with a. Or not for the king. Um, was it yes? What yes, about. you know what game I'm talking about, right? I think this is I think this is a follow-up. I really like that game. Well there's two that are similar, right? There's Yes Your Grace. Yes Your yes, Grace. That's yes, the one. Yes Your Grace played, yeah. and there's like uh Not my potatoes. I didn't know there was another game like this. But yeah, Yes Your Grace was really, really good. was a good game pass game. Oh. Right. That's your grace snowfall. Interesting. Is it? Yeah. It's neat. Yeah, it is. I don't know why it's here, but it's neat. 
Now it is time for another a game? global game announcement, and this one this comes from the minds of Saber Interactive, Focus Entertainment, and yes, horror master John Carpenter. It's what? a brand new world, a brand new story. Dude, and looks how like old a heck is of John lot of Carpenter? Fun. Check this out. Very. Heck of a lot of fun. He's <laughs> nice, only 75. Yeah, not oh, okay. Not very. <laughs> he can consult. <laughs> We aren't going to see any gameplay from this, are we? No. On my mark. So is this Left 4 Dead? Four, three, two, one. the heart, and you're to blame. That's cool. Oh, there is gameplay. There is. It already looks like it's running like shit. <laughs> yeah. So it's like a Left 4 Dead horde mode? I just can't, I couldn't work in video games because I couldn't stand working, like working on something which just is, isn't iconic. It's just, it's just another fucking game. You know what I mean? Like, look at this. This is just another game. Yeah. Nobody cares. That's most games though. I know, that sucks. That looked really bad. There's no way he did anything other than say, you can use my name. More yeah. unexpected collaboration. Yeah. Like John imagine Carpenter there was a world where Saber like there was some commando. toxic stuff and tons of fun. You guys think any of those zombies made it? I don't know. All right. Well, this August brings the long awaited full 1.0 release of hey. Baldur's Gate 3. Hey, look and at that. today, a new member is joining the cast. We're about to see the reveal of Lord Ember Gortash, the Fucking commander of a mechanical shit. army of Steel Watchers. He's a second antagonist and is voiced by familiar name. Three and McCann. Let's go. Giancarlo Esposito. Oh, fuck. Enver Gortash, swearest thou by Baldurin's blade to defend the citizens of Baldur's Gate from enemies within and without? Please be Tim Robinson. You are soon to witness the people of Baldur's Gate granting me Gilbert complete Godfrey. power over there. He was. <laughs> Have some respect. <laughs> A new it's age is dead. upon us. Gods uh, have mercy on those who stand in our way. Uh, A mad dog needed. understands the yank <laughs> of the leash from the hand of its master, but it cannot be. That's what Snow says. You. Hey, put his name on the screen. There's an old wisdom. A it's brittle Jason Isaacs. I don't know who that is. They can only break. The name sounds kind of. I want to lead this city to glory, not scorch its earth. Friends, allies. He's Lucius side. Malfoy. Let us hustle oh, in okay. a new dawn. This city is mine! That I'm makes more sense now. It's a good enemy. voice. What do you say? Shall we be allies? That's it's cool. a shame that his character model looks like that, but you know. So yeah. weird. Yeah. <laughs> said it was under control. It isn't you I answer to. He does have a good voice. Gortash. It fits really well for games. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> Baldur's Gate 3 is on Our track. Return Jeff is on screen. I'm just like. We can't wait to check that out. All right. Baldur's Gate this 3 fall, is on track. Marvel tracks. Games and Insomniac are set to bring Spider Man 2 oh, exclusively no. to PlayStation. What? Is he supposed to come out? Sounds like you guys are a little hyped. So to tell us more is Brian Intahar, game director at Insomniac. Brian, thanks for coming by. I know you guys are deep in development. First of all, it looks stage. like we have some. Uh, Fancy art behind us. This yeah. is, is this the box? This is the box art. That's okay. cool box art. You know, this is it. here it is. I mean, it has two on the box for a reason because yeah. this game features two. Well, Spider also because so it's really the second game. It. Absolutely. Cool. Uh, yeah. Peter and Miles, uh, we're so wow. excited about this um, of, uh, you know, experience that you guys are doing with these sort of two yeah. characters. Uh, we saw yeah. some great gameplay at the PlayStation Showcase, but I want to talk about the two uh, 
villains, I think, in the game. That we're, yeah. There may be more. There are more. <laughs> there are more. Pulling out all the stops ones, here. But uh, we have some new art to show of, uh, we obviously <gasps> the reveal at the, uh, This is what it'll look box. like when you, about, well, you don't, you're not going to so buy the game physically, but when you go to the download not, page, well, actually, you know, it'll, it'll look a little different than this on the download page, tech. but... He's just will be squashed more. The world that he's also discuss, York, discussing why it's cool time. that the game is called Spider-Man 2. All of the Marvel characters that live in New York City. Is so Summer Game Fest Miles stud? And others. Yeah. He's on the hunt. And others. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Yes. Uh, Has it yeah. gone but the way of E3? Venom I think as soon as all the other companies uh, yeah. decided they'd do their... I mean, they were already doing their own show, but now everyone else is like at different shows, too. There you go. Good reaction to the art. Uh, why are we Why are we cheering for concept art? About is this? Uh, can you tell? This, this isn't the is Bethesda Oswald show. Venom? Can you tell? What's the origin <laughs> of uh, Eddie Brock Venom? Or? It is not Eddie Brock. <laughs> okay. It is not. It is not no, Eddie Brock. It's okay. not Eddie Brock. Um, our goal was it's, to uh, tell an original Osborne. story, something yes. you haven't seen yeah, in it's the Harry. comics, the movies yet. Yeah, obviously, wow. we love they, Venom for a reason. If you watch, if you watch the last step, the last like gameplay, they basically said it. Yep. Oh, really? and it no, was nobody. Game. I already okay. know who it is. That's, that's a bit of a tease. Now, yep. obviously, you the, it. The, the symbiote is a big part of the gameplay, and and one of the things I think we were all struck with the footage that you showed at the PlayStation Showcase was, uh, you know, how that is going to really impact the gameplay. Fortnite will save us. Yeah, I so doubt tell it. Tell us a bit about that and yeah, how thank God. Know, the gameplay is going to be dramatically different. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think you saw. It I think we're God. We're going to watch that video that launches the, the Fortnite strength, season, like every season of Fortnite. I'm glad we're getting that video live. Yeah. Yeah. He's you know, we call him the acrobatic improviser, him and Miles, but you can tell a lot more strength, a lot more raw power, aggression, which you saw both in the moves and how Peter talks. So yeah. it's not just what happens in gameplay. This is the same gameplay at yeah. the, the PS5. Effect. They're just like, yeah, I know. I mean, you saw some of that. Because they're talking about it instead of just showing us more. And they're just the, the talking about more expansive. You've got a trailer they showed. Spider Man anymore. Sort of like, yeah, the hype is there. People were going to buy the show of this game. It's Manhattan, Brooklyn, and then being able to use the web wings to traverse at speeds way faster than they were before is really awesome. Hugely ambitious game you guys have been building uh, over the past few years. We saw at the um, at the PlayStation event, uh, it said at the end, fall <laughs> 2023. And I think every you know, time, you know, like, getting close every to time that. he's Are you just guys like feeling confident that we saw it at your it? event. Not this event, feeling, your Jeff, event. Jeff, I know you like exclusives. <laughs> yes. Are you feeling confident? And I can promise you we are very confident about fall. We're going to tell you right now. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's take a look. What if they show the entire like fifteen minute gameplay again? Imagine. It's just gonna show the date. Why didn't they just release like show that at the PlayStation show? Or why didn't they, they just say it? Did they need to make a fucking video for it? Exclusively for PlayStation 5. Got it. Awesome. Well Brian, thanks so much for Thank stopping by. Because I to do. Because the game they're giving Jeff a bone by a PS5. It's the same thing. Like we they didn't do that dates. at the PlayStation right. Showcase. They didn't now announce Ratchet and Clank for World, PC at the PlayStation Showcase. They did like two days later. Game where they you really fumbled that showcase. Mysterious creatures called Pow, who can also Palmon. fight. In oh other my words, God! Or not Palmon? Fucking like what is it? Pow World? Pow World. Then we're going to look at the Land of the Morning Light, a new expansion to Black Desert Online, which recreates what? That's gonna gonna be be Pow World from Korea's Joseph. That's going to be uh, I'm down for Pal World. That shit looks too, fucking yeah. hilarious. Give the Pokemon. That is literally a Pokemon. <laughs> yeah. Like, it's not even, <laughs> like... It's not even subtle. Damn. That's Electabuzz. <laughs> the Pokemon company is seething right now. Yeah. <laughs> the, the reason this game has taken as long as it has to come out is because they've won every Pokemon through copyright. The double check, they're just slightly different. <laughs> yeah. Mammo rest? That's not a good thing. Reptyro. <laughs> what Rosalia? kind of game is this? This is Rosalia. These are real Pokemon. Yes. <laughs> this is fucked. <laughs> That's. <laughs> I love this so much. I They're like it more. So they just ripped it, it off entirely. <laughs> Alright, be right back. Yep. Yep. Okay, bye. We made this game bad as a joke. Dude, that's such a funny <laughs> joke, though.
Looks cool. What is this again? Black Desert Online. Oh, yeah. Every time I see this, it looks cool. Yeah, and then you play Black Desert and you're like, yeah. Why is the UI like this? <laughs> why is there shit everywhere on my screen? <laughs> why did. Holy shit, $100 just came out of my bank account. <laughs> People are so excited for Fortnite in the, in the chat. I'm just like, why? Like, I like, I really like Fortnite too. It's one of my favorite games, but like, I just don't give a shit about seeing this like new season video. It's fine. because it's the only Our thing that sounds good that's coming. Stole. But I oh, think LFR. this one, it is time Lord of the Rings, yeah. No, it's a dwarf game. With Got announced last year. It looked pretty good. So it's Deep Rock Galactic. But Lord of yeah. Earth. Yeah. Delving for riches. I mean, yeah. Yet the greatest treasure remains nice. out of our reach. Moria. Is this the Fuck Lord of the Rings so. dwarf game? Yeah. Yeah. It's just, I was just saying, it's just like, it's just Deep Rock Galactic. They just ripped them off. Is this, uh, is this right after the Black Desert thing? Yeah. You missed the, you did miss the announcement of Lord of the Rings Fallen 2, but anyways. Come, my fellow dwarves. Rally together. It's time we took They added a DLC where our... they added a pause menu. Oh, shit. Yeah. Okay, that looked worse than the first time I saw it. It so. really did. I like the idea <laughs> of going back to Moria. That's cool. By the way, just in case you didn't see this monitor the first time, here's, here's again. <laughs> this this, this uh, <laughs> monitor that nobody too. can fucking afford, by the way. Like, it's so weird to advertise such an expensive item. Yeah, Apple. <laughs> <laughs> that nice monitor just to play fucking KO the Kangaroo. To play a yeah. streamed version of KO the Kangaroo. Because you can't afford the actual game anymore. <laughs> yeah. Buy this two thousand dollar monitor and not an All Xbox. All right, now we're gonna look at an exciting new mobile game from a legendary Sonic. Franchise. Hey, hey, wow. exciting Fantasy mobile, mobile game. game. They did the same thing for fifteen. It's the same game, but a mobile version. Oh, yeah, all right. So this is Crisis Core and the main and the uh... Okay. Yeah, the Final Fantasy 15 mobile version is hilarious because it's like shot for shot the same game, just like chibi characters and everything. It's really weird. It's like so much work went into it. Why are people clapping for that? Don't yes! That. I love the fucking people in the background. The pre-registration for Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis has just started, and users will have a chance Bye. to participate in an upcoming closed beta test. Now, speaking of Final no. Fantasy... No, 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 no. Today, during no, Summer says Game Jeff, Fest, don't get DoorDash too has your back. Get, <laughs> you can get a free oh, burrito when you order from Taco Bell using the code That's fucking hilarious. Fest. Jeff could tell, to too. He Final fucked up. Fantasy he was like, no, 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 no. DoorDash, stay in your game. My bad. Yeah, <laughs> that, that is, is fucking hilarious. Game, hilarious. <laughs> Just like, FGS. oops. With Banisher's Ghosts of New Eden. The story of two ghost hunters in the haunted wilds of North America. No, no, no. It's just fucking Taco Bell. DoorDash. <laughs> Motherfucker. Oh, God, that's funny. Life to the living. Death to the dead. We are banishers. 
we end suffering for those who live. Also, I don't know if it's a Canada thing or an America thing, but in Canada, anyway, um, we start getting we dash pass, like the DoorDash the things, uh, included with Prime now, Whoa. which is cool. That's so, very weird. Kind of neat. I've never used DoorDash. Revenge on what Pretty good. I usually use Uber Eats here, yeah, but I've right. started using I mean, DoorDash now because I got like this you know, thingy. Yeah. That's in the US too. I believe As the man says we face I don't know what this is, but I appreciate these uh, these games from uh, this publisher. They're like these double A. Yeah, it's it's RPG. don't nods like thing like uh, they're yeah. followed to like Vampire or whatever the fuck. Yeah. Let's get it together mm -hmm. again. Or do we part forever? I think Greedfall was also focused on entertainment. Come on, show yourself. Crazy that don't don't not made life as strange, and then they were like, "All right, fuck, let's make some fucking weird shit." Yeah. Yeah. yeah it looks <laughs> decent. Yeah, it looks neat. It looks like a nice Game Pass game, you know. It. <laughs> <laughs> Is this Yakuza? No. no. I just saw a fucking <laughs> Japanese game. <laughs> but there was a recent leak about something Yakuza. So. Is this Final Fantasy? Uh, might be. I'd say it could be. Definitely oh, wait, could be. Oh, wait, it is! Right? <laughs> Yeah, no, this is Yakuza. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like the action combat one. Yeah. Yeah, so I guess this, this is... Is, is this like a dragon, or they changed the names no. around, right? One... Ju well, Judgment. Judgment, I know. But, but they're not doing it. that anymore, I don't think, so I think this is where they're going with it. <laughs> oh, it's a Another spin So... Yakuza. Oh, like, like a, a dragon. dragon. I think they're calling the action one like a dragon, and then the other one Yakuza. No, they're just getting rid of Yakuza. No, they got rid of Yakuza. Oh, okay. Sorry. In yeah. in Japan, it was like a dragon. Oh, yeah. Morning, right. Stanley. And it is in the U.S. and everywhere I else, it was Yakuza, and they're just day. like, hmm, maybe we shouldn't name it, you know, username to just Yakuza. Adjusting morning so. wake up. Good morning. Just stand. It's moon. But Quantic it dream. Water. Come in. You there, Stan? This is like a Quantic Dream team, like but Wicked. not the full studio. But very, without very all the Definitely a leak here, Tim. harassment, without all the David Cage <laughs> harassment. <yeah. laughs> what they called Spot Dream? I didn't see it, so How I don't know. Been now? Three years, two months, and seventeen days. Subnautica? Yeah, basically. What sort of operation are they running down here? Be Got enough thalassophobia, I'm good. Yeah. This doesn't make sense. Is someone else down here? No, 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 no. Dad, are you there? That... That gave me Returnal vibes hard. <laughs> that was cool, yeah. The story, at least. That was cool. Cool. I like that Quantic Dream Beautiful has a little spin off under team. the waves, and today, incidentally, is World Ocean Day. Fun fact. Oh, All right, next, go. Call of Duty. Well, there's Thanks, a new Jeff. Call of Duty coming this fall, along with Warzone Mobile. Today, we're going to give you the first ever look at Season 4 of Modern Warfare 2 Warzone launching next week. Here's your <laughs> first look at Vondel, a new Warzone location with points of interest, including a medieval castle, a soccer stadium, Ooh. and an abandoned zoo. Yep. I mean, their maps always look sweet, so out. I'll enjoy watching that at least. Oh, it's a paintball course. That's kind of cool. I 
Not really, Josh. Josh, this is the big announcement. They should have said shit. They're a bunch of cowards. They should do the the Rihanna run this town song. <laughs> I don't know who the new which one was Season the new four, character. So week. okay. Today is a big day for video games, but also a huge day for Porsche. Yeah, two D Prince of Persia looked good. Turned seventy five years old. That might today. be the the highlight so far. Automotive and gaming space, and we've all raced a nine eleven in some point at a game. Xbox has teamed up with Porsche for a limited edition run of 75 consoles inspired by six famous Porsche race cars. And I'm thrilled to debut the first design here today inspired by the Porsche 963 that's racing this weekend at the 100th running of the 24 hours of Le Mans. Let's take a look. So is this a video game? What's happening? Porsche's releasing Porsche inspired consoles for Xbox. Because Forza. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Man, I, I don't, yeah, the Prince I don't of Persia know. thing was sweet. Prince of Persia was really cool. Oh, that oh, the console. There's so many of them. Yeah. He said that there were six of them. Okay. Imagine if they did that for like their Diablo 4 Here bundle. It is. The Porsche Xbox Series X. These yeah. custom consoles are not for sale, but you can They're enter not for a chance for to sale. win one right now at PorscheXboxSweepstakes.com. I knew it'd be some fucking shit Porsche like that. What? So what? Channels, Where's the point? Opportunities to get your Buy hands a Porsche on and you To get you to go to Porsche's Porsche. website right. and then, like, Next. farm your own. Yo, Porsche's website is, uh, cozy farm sim it's pretty genre. nice. We all like a cozy game. We all like a cozy game, like Jeff. Crossing Crossing turn it down a bit. Take it down Nintendo Switch. It's aggressive. Some exciting news for PC players too. Let's take a look at Fate Farm. Dear this looks friend, bad off. Oh. It looks like you, you know how like there was like Lego and Mega Bloks. This looks like Mega Bloks. Days pass so quickly. <laughs> oh, why is that the Before graphic I it, style? Turn into seasons. Yeah, it's pretty bad. It's been a breath of fresh air. I think we found a way to get cozy and settle in. I play this when, when uh, Disney uh, but fucking weird enchanted more. thing exists. I've been itching <laughs> to explore. What it's called. Why well, play this when Stardew Valley exists? Well, because maybe you want 3D, well, but then just play the Disney thing. To meet us. Or As Coral this, Island? There's a lot of stuff that you can play. Coral Disney Island, anything. yeah. I just... They had nice. They had such nice con. You're like, not fucking excited about that. We've that launch is variety. the worst thing that's ever there happened the week of September 8th. Mortal Kombat. <laughs> what the fuck? Now please welcome Ben Brode, chief development officer and flannel enthusiast Marvel at Snap. Second Dinner, the developers mm. behind the popular collectible card game Marvel Snap. What's up, Ben? What up? Man, you guys have been on fire. Last time I saw you was at the Game Awards when you won uh, Best Mobile Game. Uh, seems like you've been very busy. We're excited about the yep. Spider-Verse content uh -huh. you've been doing. Lots going on over there, right? Yeah, it's been, uh, it's been exciting. We've been doing a bunch of new features, some of the wildest what cards the we've fuck? ever made, and uh, <clears throat> some new game modes. Yeah. Ben Brody. Yeah. Is, that, is that a segue, Ben? Certainly, yeah. yeah. I'm excited to announce... Marvel he was the initial designer on ever. Hearthstone. Uh, we have designer. a new game mode coming next week. It's Conquest mode. It's a great way to get a super competitive experience uh, and some exciting new rewards. But you don't have to wait till next week. If you haven't tried Imagine Marvel Snap, go download guy. it right now on your mobile device or early access on Steam. All right, Ben. I, I love the enthusiasm, Ben. <laughs> That's you. <laughs> You're made for YouTube. All right. Well, we heard you brought uh, something fun. Twitch is seething uh, right now. Jesus. Watch, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. So, listen. I am incredible at card games, so I often win. Uh, but some people 
and maybe you've had this experience, Jeff. Uh, some people lose. Yeah. Jeff is a loser. <laughs> Jeff! Like Jeff has never won no a card country. game in his life. <laughs> but sometimes, yes. sometimes it's because they He's might also just be a, a huge little bit man. Unlucky. He's huge. Cue the tape. <laughs> oh, snap. Oh. Hey, okay. I don't have an ideal hand of cards here, but that's <laughs> fine. I'll see what I do uh, in future turns. Anyway, let's reveal the first location. Lamuntus one. Each player destroys their deck. Okay, <laughs> I guess I'll work with what I have. I'll play Medusa on location number two. She gets plus two power. He has, uh, see the next location. He has a bunch Over of skits Dingo. about a cow-based card game. Destroying your cow. Okay, so well, that's why there's cows. That, that. And it's gone. Okay. I watched well, all the stuff, but I not have some all, powerful cards in my hand, so I can just. He's wait. from see the like next location. The big my ball. area. Players cannot play four, oh, five, cool. or six cost cows. <laughs> he went to one of the high schools. By me. Also, if you don't play a card oh, this cool. turn, you have zero yeah. friends. No, you're just being okay. It's just an ad. Yeah. Yeah. They have a new game mode. Still These the are all. Have yeah. they have they fixed the Windows client yet? Don't know. Don't think so. Chapter four, season three Don't you have a phone Fortnite though? Wild. Now, I do, <laughs> but like I'd rather summer, just play it on the computer. Side side I can barely wall, keep my cash in my nerd wallet. Cash I'm always spending on a humble bundles and Steam sales. Headsets. Now here's a look at King Arthur Legends Rise, a new cross-platform UE5 game for mobile and PC, a Fantasy Squad RPG adventure that is available. To pre register. Imagine Jeff's like, fuck you, my, everyone, like taking my scoops. I'm going to show Starfield. I'm going to show 20 minutes of Starfield. <laughs> oh, no, this, this is not my King Arthur. <laughs> Deathwing? Not my King Arthur. Not my Camelot. Oh, they went and made King Arthur woke. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> It's literally the uh, necro armor <laughs> in Diablo 4. Vanquish the wicked, <laughs> and you may prove worthy of your legacy. Wow, this is so. Is this just raid? Imagine Dragon. Is this just the same combat as Raid Shadow Legends? That I just game saw a makes great, me angry. Yeah, I saw a great meme the other day that was like, the most confusing thing about seeing five or six white people in the street, white dudes in the street, is that it could be Imagine Dragons, Wayfinders. and you don't know. <laughs> Do you remember the fall? The gloom descended on Skylight. You rallied to protect the beacon, and paid a terrible price. Josh, it's all been doo doo. And the world was I love, I just can't stop seeing these Remember like chat things that are like, we don't want this shit, we want Fortnite. And it's like, dude, <laughs> I'm even, I'm not even like one of those people who's shitting on Fortnite, but again, what do you think they're gonna show you that's different? I mean, this kind of looks like Fortnite. Time. They're like, here's a three minute video showing off the new season. Pretty crazy. Wait, is this league based? No, this is the Warframe game that's fantasy. Why did they have Rune King on there? Mm -hmm. Fortnite. So oh, look, it's Fortnite. Kind. Ah. Fortnite Call of Duty? Wait, what the fuck? Okay, shit's getting weird. Wait, is this Fortnite? Yeah. Yeah. No. What the yes. fuck? Yeah. What the this hell is, is uh, oh, this, this is, is a UE creator, thing. creator yeah. thing. Yeah. Yeah. This is Bloodborne. It is. Everything's Bloodborne. I assume it's gonna be Fortnite. Yeah. You don't stand a chance. Nope. We're on a turn base for it. In about an hour. Is it, oh, I is like it, the idea that it's short. If that's their goal. Is this also Fortnite? <laughs> what do you say, guys? Stellaris. Is it like an easy Stellaris? I'm into that. Sad. 
surroundings. Maybe it's for Solaris. And recycle anything that could be a value to Scavex. Uh oh, we might have just stumbled upon a mic game. No, that looks Astro awful. Near looking. Weird this looks fucking out. terrible. What do you mean? <laughs> that looks no. bad. <laughs> that looks so Captain's bad. log. Star date four three one five. Right, so fuck this yes. is our weird space. Hell yeah, Star Trek. This is Star Trek. The fleet is cautiously entering hostile territory, and the crew. The board. I'm with you as a ball. It's the board. My favorite Star down. Trek is the Man of Menace. Get out. <laughs> Were they adding the board to Stellaris? Oh no. <laughs> that would have been cool. Alright. Is it like a Star Trek 4X? Hey there, Summer it's Game Fest 2023. It's Will Arnett Why here. Will Arnett? Yeah. Right? <laughs> um, my buddy Anthony Mackie and I have been uh, working on this for some time now. We're really excited to share with you Twisted Metal, which oh. is streaming only on Peacock starting July 27th. A trailer and for I'm Twisted very Metal. Very excited. To share a sneak the movie peek or whatever? Of the character of Sweet show. Tooth, who I had uh, Yeah, this is Summer TV in. Fest. Hope you enjoy it. Check it out. <sighs> this is gonna be fun. We're <laughs> Ha! Swung a little wide there. <laughs> well, aren't we a tall glass of water? Me? I'm more of a Hawaiian. Wow, this looks so bad. I'm guessing you don't fight much outside. Why did they get now, some big you? motherfucker to play this character and then Will Arnett to voice him? That's so weird. This is all very weird. How about a little kill music? She had dumped like a truck, truck, truck. That's like what, what, what? All night long. This this poor large man got had to do this whole performance and didn't like get his voice go. used. Yeah. Baby, let your booty go. Girl, do you want to show? Do you love this over here, Josh? Don't lie to me. I'm really uncomfortable. Yeah. I unleashed the dragon so many times the disc broke. I'm not a liar. You said you were coming to my show, and then you shot at me. This is a misunderstanding. I've been getting shot at ever since I can remember. It's forced habit, I guess. <sighs> Sounds like you have trust issues. That's why this PlayStation franchise went to Peacock for its TV show, because it's not good. Oh, shit, dude. Who hasn't dreamt of duplicating oneself in order to multitask? This new hack and slash oh, game with a tactical twist. Jeff's not even following up. He's like trying to Brought move on to as fast as possible. France. Here's the world premiere reveal trailer of Lisfunga, <laughs> the time shift warrior, coming later this year to PC. <laughs> Goddess of time. Receive my light, Lisfunga. Let this Lisfunga. power flow through you and fight I'm running out of names. Alongside <laughs> I'm here again. Oh, no way. That's another me. What the hell? Diablo at home. That's kind of cool. Why I begin again, but with another me to fight with. You're coming with me. Is this a souls like? No. You're not the no. Only no. Who can be in multiple like places at once? It doesn't look like a full-on like regular ARPG. There's not a lot of enemies. I will become legion and crush. I think it's more like a linear like escape based ARPG. Game. So not really. Uh, the name of the game is Lisfanga. <laughs> there are 
a mole. Yeah, they just straight up named the game. Like, you like, can't search. The best part about this game is that the Very name is cool, so independent good. independent game. All right, <laughs> next up is a brand new IP from Ascendant Studios, a single-player, first-person magic shooter called Immortals Dude, of Medium. I, it's uh, fast and fluid. It's an FPS in a fantasy setting, kind of like Dude, I Doom like with a first magic. Person magic. It also has shooter, a great but ca cast led by this. Darren Barnett as the main character, Jack, and he joins us now. Hey, Darren. Hey, guys. Great to have you the with us. The dialogue is suspect. Thank you. On this this is such yeah. a, a cool game, super high production <laughs> value, so cool. spectacular gameplay. Uh, tell is, us about the guy he? you play. You're the main character, Jack, right? Yes, I am playing the main character, Jack, as seen behind me. He yeah. is a battle mage that controls all three I mean, forms of magic, beautiful. triple threat. Uh, he's but. brash, he's funny, but he gets the job done. Well, uh, it's the, the gameplay as we've is. seen is just so fast paced. There's so much action. They say his in name it. like we should. Uh, know. You know, with all the spells, the spell I know, casting, and the magic. And I don't. Um, what can you tell us about <laughs> the story and how this battle mage Jack, and Hall Yoshida uh, in the Netflix series mage, never right? have yeah, I he ever. He kind of comes from nothing. Oh, He's, okay. uh, I guess they call him a street rat. Is what he was. He um, Thirty-two. He, uh, yeah, during a uh, time of intense trauma, he summons the power to control magic. Yeah, he uh, looks becomes part of the Immortals, 30. which is like the elite Navy SEAL squad of this world called Avium, and they are in the middle of an ever war, fighting for the control oh, of magic. An ever war. Okay. I get it. He's uh, in a lot I, of have a great stuff cast, coming up. So it looks like he's lots of amazing actors in the becoming a really high production game whatever, uh, yeah. that's coming out this summer. We don't have to wait long for it. Um, I know you brought something with you. To share today, I would presume he does. Sequence, which one of the, the yeah, most fucks. epic sort of parts of the game, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, like so this you is can tell because he's wearing a cool ring. He's going to be showing you um, the immortals and myself <laughs> yes. confronting Sandrak directly, who is the top villain of this game, um, and trying to end the Ever War. And it's uh, taking place in like one of the most although because he's levels engaging of the in nerd on stuff of, uh, now, he may not foot anymore. Mech in the middle of the ocean as it moves around. Um, it's wild. So let's take a look. All right, let's take a look at yeah. some brand new gameplay from Immortals of Avium, which comes out this summer for PC, PS5. He was the best speaker that they brought on. Thank you. <laughs> Easily, yeah. <laughs> the bar was always not very high. The who played in Jedi Fallen Order. <laughs> Everyone that can fight already is. What are the sentence? And we're still losing. Oh, this is their first game. a new studio. Welcome aboard, immortal. What's our bearing, sir? Well, I Your hope that this doesn't piece. flop because EA owns them. <laughs> this we'll was founded it. by a lot of former Telltale mm. people when they went bankrupt. That's interesting. interesting. I hope this doesn't flop because I want a good... I just want, like... I don't want people to give up on magic first-person shooters because I think there's something there and they just keep making bad games. Oh, that is weird. Spirit, there's a lot of shit going on. Yeah, it's very busy. Where are you going? I don't know, we just blacked out and pretended that didn't happen. He just walked off the... Yeah. wherever he was walking. We, we just... skipped it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I'm worried about it. It doesn't look... This looks super not like... It doesn't look like it connects or like feels physical in any way. Uh, was that framiness from the oh, yeah. compression? That was from the, the compression. Game? That was the compression. But also like, when anything happens, I can't see shit. Yeah. <laughs> there's wow, so much there's happening. There's so much on the screen. Holy yeah. shit. Oh my god. Like, Ghostwire Tokyo is very clean. Uh, I don't even know now. I'm magic. thinking it might be the game dropping frames. I can't tell. The I can't see what the fuck's are happening. Insane. They're in, not in a good way. Yeah. Well, I mean, they're impressive. It's just too much for a game. Yeah. Also, they're not like magic-y looking. They look like tech techno. I don't yeah. Know. I just don't like the, the visuals. Kind of... I just can't imagine this game not feeling super generic. One of you. Yeah. Like 90% of video You're games. What's called a Come on. Triarch. 
The Pentasad has gifted you with the ability to manifest all three colors of magic. All three colors? <laughs> colors? Hell yeah. We're all all elements or something? Why do they keep showing that background we're video? We're MTG now. Yep, we're an MTG. Why do they keep showing that? <laughs> 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 <It's the same laughs> video. <laughs> they showed it five times. It's the only one they have. It looks like this is the coolest one. Love that we get to show you guys so much amazing raw gameplay today, and that game stop is saying Coming raw out this gameplay. <laughs> Now, one game that constantly reinvents oh, itself Fortnite. is Here Fortnite. And tomorrow, Chapter 4, Season 3 Wilds launches. And today, Summer Game Fest is debuting the Why cinematic is it chapter trailer four the season. season. The center of the okay. island has collapsed, chapter. revealing a vast hidden jungle with ancient secrets I to guess, discover. And of okay. course, there's a battle pass lineup like where you can unleash the power the yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah. of Cybertron. Here we go. What? I didn't think it was going to be like... Yeah, I did see there would be a Transformers thing. I like, well, because of the new Transformers, it's hype for me because it's kind of like Beast Wars, which is my favorite shit as a kid. So, like, I'm into, like, the Beast Wars if you have that shit. Give me some off cast climber, baby. <laughs> Wait, is that Jurassic Park shit? Yeah. I mean, do we get to play as Chris there? Pratt? We already have Chris Pratt. Oh, really? Yeah. We have Chris Pratt at home. Show me some sort of dino enclosure. This isn't Jurassic Park, though. It just happens to be. It's the music, dude. No. Yeah, that had mm -hmm. Jurassic Park themes in it. Mm hmm. And the raptors coming up, and then you guys riding them is literally a scene from Jurassic Park. Now, now. My stream Well, there's a Transformer, though. Good luck, Miss Prime. Oh, I can be a little Optimus Prime? You can be a little Optimus Prime. Yeah. You can look at a little. Oh, sorry, Move. I'm not up on the Fortnite Twitter. Remember when everyone was so fucking excited for Fortnite? And like, why? This is what I knew was going to be the case. Who cares? Fortnite Wilds launches tomorrow. Well, finally, guys. Clever girl. It's time to get to our grand finale. That was the Fortnite? And it is a thing. Yeah. They didn't even have a season to present like gameplay game. trailer. What you're about weird. to see is a world premiere trailer that gives us a new look at an We have one world, world premiere at Summer Games Fest. Oh, Jeff. <laughs> this game comes from a studio that surprised so the world and redefined Armor the RPG Core. genre with its iconic characters Kojima shit. and rich storytelling. And I want to thank them for this trailer for one of gaming's most anticipated upcoming releases the rumors the Elder Scrolls 6 were true about it's the Elder Scrolls 6 we're still here at the scene of this terrible it's disaster uh, no it's massive tornado it's swept through sectors final zero, fantasy one and two it's final fantasy amidst the wreckage of the expressway Search this is final fantasy final fantasy 9 oh it's no <laughs> rebirth this is rebirth yeah what does he mean the rumors are true? I don't know. Wow. Everyone's really fucking excited. Just for look at it all. Apparently, according it's to so green. Even after everything we've done to it, it's still going strong. It may look I'm that way, but in reality, it's barely hanging on. I didn't know Scar was in this. <laughs> New Kingdom Hearts. I was wondering, what's Cloud been doing these past five years? I mean, Kingdom what Hearts is, is related Ooh, to Final Fantasy. You're asking me this? This is gonna sound crazy, but that's red thirteen. As far as I know, Cloud was never in Nibelheim five years ago. <gasps> Big old areas. Cool. Life stream. It is the very essence of our star. The blood coursing through its planetary veins. I think Jeff were like, nah, fuck this shit, and they just like pulled it for GTA yeah. Six. <laughs> Shadows of the Man, I believe he called them. 
Sephiroth was in Midgard. We fought him. Whatever happened, he's We're alive. him in a regular <gasps> living room. Why come back now? After five years, doing who knows what. Nevada Kadok! Well now, I think we woke it up. Angered it more like. Feast your eyes on the Turk's latest and greatest, Elena. She may be new, but she's still a Turk. Looks like more they Final Fantasy seven, monster, which is good. That she can peer inside you, into the very depths of your soul. That she can become those you hate, those you fear, those you love. Three, yeah, yeah. You murdered my dad. You burned my village. Do you know that I killed her? Do we so, get a release who is she? No. There you have it. That was Final Fantasy VII Rebirth coming early 2024 that was a timeline to Tifa. PlayStation 5. Nemo mm -hmm. Sun, thank you so much. All right. That's going to oh, do it. Oh, they've pushed Game it. Fest, our live showcase, but that On is not two the discs? end of Summer yeah. Game Fest. Stay tuned this weekend for updates on many more games during what? SGF Play Days, a hands-on event for media. I think Carolina Matt's Amazon, behind. Including Cyberpunk 2077, <laughs> Phantom Liberty, as well as the mm -hmm. Xbox and Bethesda so, Showcase on Sunday. Right now, though, I guess stay they, tuned they for said Day of winter, the Devs from so Iron 8-Bit and early Double 2024 Fine, which celebrates the independent game culture with a number of new game reveals over the it next is. hour. We'll see you this summer, later this summer, on August 22nd for Gamescom opening night live in Germany and again in December when we come together here in Los Angeles to celebrate 10 years of the Game Awards. Thanks for watching, everyone. We'll see you soon. I don't understand the two discs thing. <laughs> Why? No. I don't know. Makes you really feel like it's... Mean? Early 2000s gaming. Wow. Uh, I won't be watching this next year. <laughs> wow. I, I have zero W's from that. All L's. All right. Prince of Persia did look cool. It did. But like, that's not a, that's not worth two hours. <laughs> no, no, it's no. not. No. As yeah, unfortunate I mean, it was, as that is. We, we talked about it. I mean, it is... The, the disappointing part is that... The reason why this was so good the first time was because everyone was canceling their shows because E3 was canceled. But now, with everyone doing their own shows, he gets the scraps. Mm -hmm. so. But, like, the, the PlayStation State of Play sucked? Yeah. Or the Directs or whatever the... What's the big showcase? Showcase. showcase. That sucked. Like the thing the Xbox is, like thing probably will suck, except Starfield. <laughs> the thing is, like the Game Awards will have that has big announcements because it's at a weird time of the year. But stuff yeah. like, but something like Summer Game Fest going forward is going to be competing just, with all the major yeah. exclusives and things. Yeah. Or like if Sony or Microsoft pays uh, like a third party to exclusively show at their show or something too, which is definitely a thing. Yeah. Yeah. I, don't know. I think what he should do is go back Thanks to everyone. calling it opening night live. And, and well, he it... still does opening night live. That's the August thing, the late August. Yeah, that's Gamescom oh, in Germany. Oh, right, that's Gamescom. Yeah, it's Gamescom. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this needs to be rebranded. There's usually more events at Gamescom to add opening night live. Like the that's problem, true. I've yeah. The problem is all of the events 
like back when E3 was originally canceled and COVID was doing that sh- that thing. Like Summer's Game Fest was tied to, at least relatively to all the other events. Now there, yeah. it's just not. He he needs to somehow yeah. make Summer Games Fest be the entire week and get publishers on board to like exactly hey what is? this is the week because, but it's not officially summer games but it's not like, officially Xbox tied in with summer games like none of it's tied yeah in, you know yeah it is it's it's part of summer game fest like if you go to the website that the schedule those are all summer game fest events the, the microsoft event is, is not a summer games fest event it is it is yeah officially? it's on sunday like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it just. I mean, Jeff be, said yeah. it at the end, but the problem is like they they don't give Jeff a bone. They give Jeff the nothing. Thing is that, <laughs> also, yeah, like he, Nintendo and PlayStation stopped doing their events in like the same week too, which really fucks shit right. up. I think. Yeah. He needs to rebrand this as like the kickoff show, basically, or just like not do this show and just leave everything to these other indie shows, and then they'll have better stuff because anything that would have been in Summer Game Fest will be spread spread around yeah it also doesn't need to be two fucking hours like i understand that's for advertisers but just like if you need to do two hours to get the ad money to run this show don't do this show because this didn't exist before like even before covid when e3 was still going e3 was basically like all the all the little shows and then also like the microsoft show and the sony show Mm -hmm. and the and the, the nintendo show um, but there was never like the main opening show. That wasn't a thing. Right. Every, right you just yeah. went to the show of the thing you liked. And so yeah. like, this is kind of doesn't need to exist. Where, what is it? Not anymore. Yeah. No. Stuff is getting spread too thin at this point now because I'm sorry, so Jeff. <laughs> I'm sorry, Jeff. You need a, you need there's to kill your baby like, off. There's like four or five indie showcases. Mm-hmm. So there's so much, yeah. so much stuff. I mean, at least Evolver is in, an hour that's yeah. cool that's and cool. it'll be funny be that, but i'm i'm really it'll be excited entertaining I, yeah i'm gonna watch that sure. later because that is probably gonna have multiple games that i'm into last year there were some really cool ones yeah, yeah. we'll be that crazy so... when we went around kicking everyone that was pretty cool oh yeah mm-hmm. that was funny and the crazy yeah. skating game that was like wild that hasn't come or... out yet i know none of them haven't come none of them have come out but they look cool no, as fuck. a lot of them did but not oh, did they yeah yeah, uh, the the foot one. God, I can't remember what it's called. Uh, that came out. Kickstart. Mm. Some of the other ones, but I've been looking for the skate one, and it's not out yet. Yeah, I really want to play that game. This was also a weird time, like 3 p.m. Eastern, noon Pacific. I don't know, on a Thursday. I don't know. That's just kind of weird, but. All right, so know. Mike and I will be back in a little over an hour for the Devolver show. Just to yeah. hang out. And that's usually only about half an hour. So yeah, it's short and show. funny, yeah. and hopefully better than this was. I was yeah. bored. <laughs> so we'll see you guys in a little bit. Yeah. All right. See you guys. Bye bye.